Hey everyone, welcome to Weekly Crop. This is a new series we're gonna do every week where we talk about some featured products in the store. And to start it off, we're talking about Ceramonic this week. If you are playing in the video sphere and you do a lot of audio stuff, you're gonna know some pretty household names like Sennheiser or Rode. This is a company that is not brand new. They've been around for a little bit, but they're new to us and they're filling our shelves, but they're also filling the internet. I've noticed more and more across the board on the internet uh, that this is a hot product and a lot of people are talking about it. And there's a good reason why a lot of people are talking about it. So with me, I have uh, our product manager here, Mr. Brian Young, who's gonna tell us all about why this is such an important product. So uh, Brian, lay it on us. What's the big deal about Ceramonic? Well, first, uh, yeah, I wanted to just clarify what is Ceramonic, first of all. Well, Ceramonic is really affordable audio for the masses. That's really what their sort of theme is. And also, Ceramonic sounds great. Yeah. I mean, the product it provides good quality sound at a very effective price point, And they have a wide range of unique products, a whole lineup of products that fill a lot of gaps out there mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in different product levels, interfaces, microphones, things like that. But what we're gonna start off talking about a little bit is the wireless systems first, because yeah. that's really where they've really made their mark. Mm -hmm. It's the most popular uh, products that they make are their uh, wireless microphone systems. Yeah. And so we're gonna start off first with the most popular mm -hmm. of all of them, which is this uh, UW Mic 9 system. Right. And that's the system that we can see here up at the front of the table. Yeah. So I think the most important fact about these products it, that you have to understand is that this is a UHF quality microphone mm -hmm. system. The UMic 9 is the latest in the series. Yeah. There was previously a series before that yeah. called UMic 10, but that channel band is now uh, eliminated, yeah, yeah. eliminated because of the channel sell-offs in the United States and yeah. whatnot. Right. So the UMic 9 is the most popular new system. And uh, basically, the most popular feature about this is the receiver. Yeah. Now, the receiver itself can pick up two simultaneous mm -hmm. transmission packs. Yeah. So therefore, I can now have it kitted with two labs and one receiver. Right. And that's the power of the system. At right. an excellent price point, I now have two mm -hmm. wire two wireless mic systems yeah. basically in one. And so basically what happens now is it takes that uh, mini jack and it, for if you're like a DSLR shooter, it will split that into the two mics will be in the left channel and in the right channel. So for all these DSLR shooters, it's an amazing opportunity to have just a single system uh, that splits into channels. Yeah, yeah, correct. You just go into the menu system and you decide where yeah. do you want to have it mixed if you did want to have it mixed for right. some reason right. that you wanted to have the two channels mixed together or you put it into stereo mode and then channel A would be on discreetly on the left and channel uh, B would be discreetly on the right. Right. And yeah. that would go into any camera. Right. And then what happens if you just said any camera, what happens if somebody is of like if they're not using DSLR, they're using a traditional video camera or uh, you know any type of a cinema camera uh, that uses XLR input. How does this adapt Okay, to that? so then the, the kit comes stock with a single XLR, right. okay, which would then obviously be mixed to mono. Correct. So you would have both channels coming into one. Yep. But they do, and that's how we're working actually here today. We're using the mic system today yeah. to do this interview. Yeah. And that's basically, you can buy optionally a splitter that basically is the uh, locking mini connector to two XLR. And then you can go discreetly into the two different channels, channel one and channel two. Mm, right, and with the two channels, uh, I would imagine that you have a system that uh, you know, outputs to two, like, two different units that it must draw more power or something like that. So how does it manage like all of that in terms of, you know, its yeah. power? Okay, so it uses standard um, A-type batteries, it's just a little yeah. pop-in tray here that yeah. use your, uh, your AA batteries. Yeah. And um, you can buy it as a single transmitter lav, yeah. and then you would basically turn off channel P, yeah. which would then, uh, your batteries would last longer because now the receiver is only running one channel, right? right? right. And, and then if you want, you can go in and turn on the second channel and have the two transmitter pack. And then we also make bundles, special bundles. So if you did want to have an XLR, you know, type adapter so that you could use a standard uh, dynamic type microphone yeah. into your XLR or a yeah. shotgun that so, you want to so, have on a rig. Yeah, so one person could be running this, but the other person's on this. Exactly. Great for like, uh, you know, AV press 
presentations and events and those kinds of things where maybe you're going to have um, the speaker is going to be wired with the lav and then you want to hand the microphone around in the audience either with an XLR mic or yeah. there is also a mic that has the transmitter built right into the into oh, the cool. handle of the mic. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. There, you can mix and match. And then there's actually also one more part to the system um, that's just being launched right now is a new type of receiver. Mm -hmm. And that receiver basically has the XLR uh, built into it so that it can plug directly right into the camera. Yeah. Now, most often I would use that for a single channel. Yeah, it can course. do two channel, but because it's plugging right in, right. then it's uh, both channels would be mixed. Mm. And so it's impossible to get them discrete out of that XLR connector. Right. But for a low cost single channel system that just plugs directly into the camera's XLR port, that would be a great new option. Right, awesome. Okay, man, just feel the build quality of this. You can yeah, that's, see. that's definitely one thing I noticed. I noticed that it's a lot more in line with some of the professional audio that I've been using on set uh, in commercial or uh, television lifestyle productions. Um, whereas traditionally in this price point, you've seen more plasticky models. Correct. So this is the first time that I've come across something that is at this price point that it's actually built this well. That's right. It's built. It's heavy. It's meaty. It's a full metal body chassis. Yeah. It's designed. I mean, even while we're setting up here, I dropped mine on the floor a couple yeah, yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's designed to take that kind of abuse, which happens daily, right? Exactly. So, and um, again, because it's UHF, you have up to 96 channels available yeah. to you. So you can have multiple systems running on set simultaneously. You could use yeah. it even for like staging, where you had like a, a live event play or something like right. that, where you had multiple actors all wired so you up. So like and, 20 of these running. At Oh, uh, all yeah. at the same time. You just right. come up with a channel plan, and within the 96 available uh, uh, channels available yeah. in the band, then you yeah. just set it all up. Yeah, and now I hope I'm not skipping ahead here because we're going to talk about some other products, but I think it's a good opportunity because people might be interested in this. All the different bands and why some products have one band and why some products are on another and what that means because okay. it's a give and take. So VHF, UHF, and digital. Uh, well, tell me about all that. Okay, so UHF is basically the most common professional level wireless out there. And it sits in a channel band that's um, protected and assigned. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we talked about the channel band changes a little bit right. earlier. So they've protected those bands, but within that band, there's nine, up to 96 channels now available mm -hmm. UHF. The great thing about UHF is it gives the best balance of distance, power, mm -hmm. um, overall audio quality, mm -hmm. and also latency. Right. So basically, if you're doing like a real-time performance to a live audience, things like that, the latency is minimized, the overall audio quality is near maximized, yeah. and it's, it's, it's the best performer in all areas. And right. also distance, you can go you know, up to 100 meters yeah. kind of distance and things like that. So it's, it's designed for to be the most versatile, rugged, mainstream performer. Right. All right. And then also within the family of products that Ceramonic has available, they have a lower cost system. Now this lower cost system is, you know, really designed for the vlogger or mm. the person that's really a photographer that's just making his first ventures into audio mm. and they just want to, you know, free themselves from the cables, right? Yeah. They don't yeah. want to have to be wired. Um, and maybe they're not worried about having multi-channel environments right, and all these right. other things. They're not, they're not like a broadcaster where you're going to show up on, on a location and you're going to have other broadcasters doing stand-up at the same time and you have to be on other channels and whatever. Yeah. So this is a very simple system designed for corporate vlogging, things like that. Yeah. So four channels, A, B, C, and D, very yeah. simple. You just Which is actually, there's, there's beauty and simplicity, right? Because yeah. with all these other ones, you've got to go into a menu and assign channels and sync up channels and things like this but here it's just like it's it's just a switch yeah. like you're literally channel a b c and d and you're done right so yeah. it, it makes it so you just match the yeah. two each one yeah. has a switch like that yeah. and just a power on yeah. And, yeah. and boom, you're ready to go. Yeah. The microphone is a little mini XLR type. You can see that the antennas are a little bit more flexible and whatnot yeah. because again, it's a different frequency band. It's in the 200 megahertz VHF band. Right. And some people may say, oh, I'm gonna get some interference in that yeah. band and whatnot. There are chances of that if you're in a high density environment, a big, you know, a big entertainment venue with everybody with their other phones going at the same time and whatnot. But if you're in, a, you know, more uh, controlled 
corporate type environment like we are here in the yeah. store in the building or whatever whatever this system is going to work fine yeah. and although this system is designed really for a shorter distance i would say probably 50 meters is yeah. really the touted spec i've seen it work in an open field up to 300 feet away oh. and i've seen also even from a uh, noise cancellation point of view i've seen this this uh, microphone held up to like a LED light or something yeah, yeah. where a microphone, uh, a wired type microphone was producing hum, this system, there's no hum right. induced into it. Yeah, so, and that's the advantage of an XLR system is that, you know, the channels are kind of doing alternate frequencies to kind of cancel out. That's right. Right. And so, you know, with other systems that were just a regular, uh, you know, mono. single mono channel, right. that's where you get the frequency. So there's a lot of simplicity and power built into this system. My, my feeling is that, you know, you wouldn't want to do it in a big, obviously professional environment just because it's maybe not so no, rugged. It's a different market. It's, but, it's really designed for that very entry level yeah. person who's doing like vlogs, maybe doing the corporate things. Yeah. They just want to free themselves up from the wires. Yeah. But this system starts out at about $130 yeah, Canadian. Which is crazy. It's crazy yeah, yeah, price yeah. point. It's yeah. just, and, and it's a good performer for that do for yeah. those dollars. It's an excellent performer. Yeah. And then yeah. on another level, they have, uh, if you want to step up into another level, they have also a digital wireless system and mm -hmm. it's called the, the, the VMIC Link 5 system. Right. And so basically this VMIC -like, uh, -like, -like Link <laughs> It's a mouthful. system, it's a mouthful, is a digital system. Yeah. And so you can see that these are lighter weight. If you, yeah. if you hold on yeah, to yeah. it there, it's a lighter weight system, yeah. a more plastic chassis. Yeah. Um, that's part of because of the band that we're running in is now up in that 5.8 gigahertz band. Yeah. And so if you know anything about Wi-Fi and things like that, right. five gigahertz band is there's less traffic up there. Yeah. So it's very isolated. You're going to be able to get very good quality mm. connection, mm. but it's a lower power. In other words, you can't necessarily be as far right. away. So again, this system is designed for maybe about a hundred feet mm. and, but you're going to get full digital quality sound. Right. But b the digital comes at a very small cost is latency. So the one thing to be certain of is that um, if you're using digital mic systems that you actually pair other channels to also be digital mic systems because otherwise in post you may have to do some slip and slide on the audio right. because of the latency or slight delay right. of the processing into digital. Right. And that's what's the power of this system is you can see we actually have a model that gives you three transmitters up to a single receiver. Right. Now again, because you only have left and right, exactly. you're gonna have to mix two of them together. Yeah, yeah. But I mean for a live production or something like that. And these will be available in two transmitter kits and also a single transmitter kit at different price points. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still unclear about who would buy this over this. Like what, what, what type of producer? Again, or? simplicity because there's no, not like you don't have to tune in any channels it's basically plug and play. Right. So if you're looking for the best audio performance and just plug and play, I don't have to think about what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't have to go into channel assignments and worry about channel plans or whatever, whatever. It's an, then it's an interesting, it's, a very, very simple, it's almost simple an interesting hybrid system. of these, right? Correct. It's, yeah. it's, it allows it to simplify and give you a bit, bit better audio performance. Right, right. It is at a premium price over the UHF system. Yeah, so yeah. it is a little bit more expensive, but you know, but it has but it other comes with a nice case though, you yeah, know, it comes so. with a beautiful yeah, case yeah, over yeah. here. And yeah. it also comes with, um, uh, with, uh, recharge rechargeable batteries, right? So it's, it right. uses rechargeable lithium batteries. Yeah. So you get these little battery packs, right? Right. So it's using, yeah. using those to yeah. recharge. It's right? a lot like the Fujifilm batteries actually interesting. Yeah. Uh, I... yeah. And then, you know, some, some other slight differences. I mean, the mic goes into the side. It also right. has a line input in it as well. Right. So again, this would be, um, an excellent system. If you were trying to be, if you were more in the MI market, Right. and you wanted to mic your guitar or something like that right. on stage and you're going to put the receiver just off to the side of the stage or yeah, yeah. you know back or the club's not that big you can be within a short distance yeah, yeah. then you're going to get the full sonic sound because yeah. again the digital sound is even better yeah that's pretty amazing yeah. awesome what uh what other points do we want to close out here with uh with sarah's uh sarah Monik? well i think again as i say within this uh within the wireless systems there's three different systems designed for three different levels of customers mm -hmm. who at a price point that basically untouchable by some of the other majors yeah. and a lot of people are going to ask about the audio quality and i would say the audio quality is 
quite respectable. Yeah. And so and we're, bang we're, for the buck, yeah. you know, you're we're, gonna go do some tests, maybe show us a few clips yeah. and we're using them right now. So, yeah. so what, what you hear is what you get. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> awesome, thanks so much for uh, doing this. All right, and, we're uh, gonna do another segment. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Check. Great.